Installation and main functions. LG Signature Multi-Door Refrigerator. These tools are required. Step 1. Remove the foil of the interior and exterior. Make sure that you unplug the power. Remove 5 screws. Then take off the top cover. Unplug 3 connectors. And remove the ground wire. The water hose first has to be disconnected from the backside. Rotate the hinge lever. As the hinge is secured on the back, lift it up on the wiring side first. Because of the shape of the door holder, first rotate the door 90 degrees, then lift it up. To prevent damage, put the door on a soft surface. Unplug three connectors and remove the ground wire. Rotate the hinge lever. Rotate the door 90 degrees, then lift it up. To remove the bolts, first open the door. Remove two bolts and one screw. Important, do not yet remove the door. There is still a wire connected. Remove the hinge cover screw, then lift up the cap. Disconnect the door wire. Do not lose the plastic ring. Remove two bolts and one screw. Remove the screw from the hinge cover and take it off. Unplug the connector. Put back the hinge covers to secure them. On the top cover, unplug all connectors. One on the left side and three on the right side. To prevent losing them, put back the ground wire screws.
Step 3. Take out the shelves and drawers. When taking it out, note that the shelf is clamped at the back side. You may leave in this drawer as it is connected to guide rails. Do not take out the glass plate as it is connected to the back side. Step 4. Remove the bottom hinges. With two persons, put the appliance against the wall in an angle that provides minimal 65 cm distance to that wall. This helps to reach the bolts at the bottom and at the same time to keep the appliance in a steady position. Remove four bolts on each side, three on the bottom and one on the front. Before transporting the appliance, tape the wires to the bottom to prevent damage. Step 5. Notes for transportation. Use appropriate lever operated suction cups on both sides to lift up the appliance. Note that the weight including doors is more than 200 kg. Without the doors it still weighs roughly 150 kg. Step 6. Assembling the bottom hinges. To assemble the bottom hinges, use the same angle as when you disassembled them. Mount four bolts on each side, three on the bottom and one on the front. Step 7. Mount the freezer doors. Before mounting the freezer doors, check that the leveling nuts of both doors can move. Do not tighten them too much. Mount the left freezer door. Guide the wire as indicated, mount the door, attach two bolts and one screw. Connect the two wires and put back the hinge plate. Do not forget the screw. Mount the right freezer door. Guide the wire as indicated, mount the door, attach two bolts and one screw. Plug in the connectors. Put back the hinge cover and the screw. Step 8. Level the freezer doors. First make sure that the appliance is level by placing the spirit level on top of the appliance. When the doors are not level, use the supplied spanner to adjust the door height. Open the door and turn the nut until the doors are level. Step 9. Mount the fridge doors. Before mounting the fridge doors, check that the leveling nut can move. Do not tighten it too much. Mount the doors in a 90 degree angle. When closing the door, be careful of the wiring. Gently guide the wires through the hinge hole. Secure the hinge, then push the holder in the hole. Close the hinge lever. Plug in all the connectors.
mount the ground wire using the correct screw. Mount the door in the same angle, 90 degrees. When closing the door, be careful with the wiring. Guide the wires through the hinge hole. Secure the hinge and push it down. You may need to open the door a little. Close the hinge lever. Put back the waterline connection hose and make sure it reaches the back side. Plug in all connectors and the ground wire. Plug in the top cover connectors Put back the top cover and be careful of the wiring. Mount five screws. Step 10, level the fridge doors. Step 11, put back the drawers and shelves. Note the position of the shelves. Put the R marked shelves on the right side and the L marked shelves on the left. Plug in the power to check the lights. Note that the shelf lighting only works when the shelves are positioned correctly. While it is possible to put the shelves lower or higher, this will impact the conduction and cause that the light of the moved shelf does not work. Step 12. Replacing the top and middle basket of the InstaView door. To remove the middle basket, first remove the caps. Push the buttons on the bottom of the basket to pull it down. Open the InstaView door to take out the yeah. basket. Put 
putting back the middle basket, check that it moves correctly through the guide rail. When putting back the caps, notice the shape difference. Unhook the levers to take out the top basket. Step 13. Replacing the freezer door baskets. Note that the clips on the side may break easily. With two hands, lift the basket up from the back side, then move it forward to take it out. Step 14. Functions, ice and water dispenser display, outer door and outer drawer. Press and hold the ice on off button for 3 seconds to turn off the ice maker. Press and hold it again to turn the ice maker back on. You can select if you want cubed ice, water or crushed ice. For water there are 3 prefixed amounts you can choose from. Note that when you select crushed or cubed and go back to water selection, that the default setting is continuous, which stops when you release the dispenser lever. Auto door opens the right fridge door when stepping into the light. To trigger auto door, move close to the detection sensor, which activates the door open light. Step into this light and the door will open. Auto drawer works with read switches that detect the magnets in the freezer doors. When a door is opened, this is detected and activates the opening of the drawers. When closed, the switch detects the magnet and this triggers the closing of the drawers. When you open the door and do nothing, after a few seconds the drawers are automatically closed. 